Hey everyone, this is Dan from A Warehouse Full, here today to discuss methods of insulating your walls. Now the method we recommend is what I'm doing here, and that's flash and bat, which is where you insulate with spray foam behind your standard bat insulation. Here I'm using froth pack. In the next panel, I'm using Dow's Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks to create an air and moisture seal around the panel rather than cover the full panel with foam. And for the last panel, I'm only going to use our R19 EcoBat insulation from NAF, which uses an all-natural binder for the fiberglass rather than harmful chemicals, which is why it's brown in color. Now let's compare the advantages of each method. When only using bat insulation, you have an R value of whatever bat insulation you chose. With gaps and cracks to seal the border, you get an R value of your bat plus a water and airtight seal. With froth pack, you have an R value of your bat plus an additional 6 from the froth pack, assuming a 1 inch application, plus a water and airtight seal. Now be sure to check back soon for more product videos, and for more information on these and other great products, be sure to check out our website at awarehousefull.com.